everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Bosch washing machine, Seri 4 Vario Perfect model. And it's how to remove the filter at the back on the mains cold water feed. Now there's a really small filter right at the back of the washing machine, which catches any bits of grit and dirt which come in from the mains cold water. Don't get this confused with the Aquastop filter, which is on a different model. That is not in this video. Right, should we get cracking? All you're going to need today is a pair of pliers and a small bucket or a tray. Now the first thing you definitely need to do is switch off the power of the washing machine and pull out the plug. Then you need to locate the cold water mains feed. So just locate that and then turn this off. Then pull out the washing machine as far as you can, but just be careful not to pull it out too far because obviously you've got your drainage hose and you've got your cold water mains feed hose. If you want to pull the washing machine out further, you can remove that drainage hose from the U-Bend pipe, which will just give you a bit better access. And there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. Now, if you follow the path of the mains inlet hose, it comes up to the back of the washing machine in the top corner. And this is where the aqua filter is inside here. So what we need to do is just remove that. So take your bucket or your tray and just put that on the floor ready because you will get some water out. You won't get a lot of water out because obviously we've isolated the cold water main supply. Just get a really good grip on this and turn it anti-clockwise to remove. Whilst I'm undoing that, there's a link above now where I review this Bosch Siri 4 Vario Perfect washing machine. Just keep unscrewing it and there we go, that's come away. Pop that hose into your bucket because it will drip slightly. You don't want that to go all over your floor. And the tiny inlet filter, the aqua filter, is inside there. What you do now is just take a tissue or a rag and just try and dry it off as much as you can because when it's wet it's really difficult to get a good grip on this with your pliers. So just try and make it as dry as possible. Then take your pliers, get a really good grip on the flat end, which is just slightly poking out. And what you're doing is you're just pulling it out towards you and just wiggling it. And there we go. Now this one looks to be in really good condition. What you're looking for is any bits of grit or dirt or debris in any of those perforated holes. The easiest way to clean this would be with your partner's toothbrush. Lux. Or you can just put it in your mouth and blow. You know how to blow, don't you? Just put it in your mouth and blow. So this one's really good. And we can just pop that straight back in. And there's a link above now about how to activate the child lock on this Bosch washing machine. This is how it sits in the inlet hose. So obviously the mains water comes in and any bits of dirt and grit, which you do get in mains cold water, will get caught by that tiny filter. So just make sure it's straight and true and just push it home with your finger. Now we can connect the hose back on. Just do this with your hands. You do not want to cross thread this. So make sure you've got a good connection and then just tighten it up all the way. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about what to do if the door is stuck on this Bosch washing machine. Now what you must never do is use a tool or a pair of pliers to tighten this because you do not want to over tighten it. It's only got a plastic thread. Just do it as tight as you can with your hand. Now remember to turn the mains cold water feed back on. I just do that slowly because obviously you get a big surge of pressurized cold water. You're checking for any leaks and this one is looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to put the washing machine back. I've removed the dispenser drawer, just gives you a bit more leverage. Just be careful when you're pushing it back not to kink the mains water cold feed hose or the drainage hose and just check this. So I'm just checking the cold water hose and that's all nice and free. And then you just need to make sure that it's level. If it's not level, you can adjust the legs underneath. They just screw up and down. I'm just going to use my spirit level and this is absolutely level. Superb. If you're going to be working on your washing machine, make sure you have a lovely cup of tea. Oh. oh. 
If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.